Okay, in today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you a fast, easy way to make a, a spring clamp out of a coat hanger. I have a few old ones that I made here, and I use these for delicate glue ups when a regular clamp is a little bit too heavy. Here's a small one right here. And let's say that if this piece of wood were split and I glued it up, I could, you, I usually put grind points on here, and you can put that, I just over bend it, and you can put that on there, and it'll hold, and like maybe not for this situation, but other situations um, where, where it's hard to get a clamp on, like on, a, on an angled or a, a mitered piece, they work well. So we have uh, two Dutchmen in here that Dan just glued in. They're these little triangular pieces on the bullnose here, and there's one on each side. They're opposing each other. And that epoxy, it, they're holding in right now, but I want to put just a little added pressure on there. We're about to leave for the night, so uh, I'd like to see that, you know, I, I'd like to put a little pressure on there so they don't fall down. And it's kind of hard to get a, a regular clamp in there, so I just uh, took a coat hanger and I bent it to the general shape and then I took it over to the grinder and I ground uh, points on it. And I'm gonna just kind of dig it in on this one here. And I over bent it so there's a, there's a little bit of spring to it. And then I dig it in there and just make sure that the pieces are in there. So that should hold for the night. I can put, put that little point wherever I want that pressure to be. And it's kind of in and on an angle on both sides. So that should be it. And then you can make them all different sizes. I just keep these over by my regular, my clamp rack for different, uh, usually just for, for little, um, little glue ups you can't get a normal clamp into. All right, so that'll do it on the quick tip for, for building these little spring clamps, all right?